Let's check out the nine best submissions from the Ulaanbaatar Grand Slam. And we're going to kick things off with Rika Takayama of Japan in the bronze medal match that took place a short time ago. She was able to capitalize on an opportunity in Newaza to flip her opponent and then she got control of the far arm. And she's an Udagarami specialist. She knows how to get the job done from here. And there's the submission. I have a question for all of you. Why is it that even though the Sode Tsuri Komi Goshi is one of the most popular throws in women's judo, we rarely see it used in a combination to set up the Juji Gatame. And when we do, it's usually by Keldi or over. We'll have one more from her later in the video. Here's Momo Tamaoki. She was a bit of a disappointment in this tournament, but she certainly lit up her opponent in the first round with this Juji Gatame. Perhaps Hara Gatame. Tomita showed some good hand-eye coordination to seize upon her opponent's exposed neck. And her opponent submitted very quickly, probably due to a bit of fatigue as they were in golden score. Now this one here, let's see if you can guess how this one is going to end. So the girl from the UK, she's got control of her opponent's right arm. So it looks like we might be heading for a Juji Gatame and now she's switched to the Kata Sankaku. So perhaps it's going to be an arm in guillotine choke. The head's popped out. Maybe the girl in white's got a chance to turn things around. No, it's going to finish up with Sode Guruma Jime. This one was perhaps a little controversial. Did Mimi Hu get the jacket under her opponent's neck or did she just rip it across her opponent's chin, perhaps even her mouth, and cause her a lot of pain? She certainly tapped out, that's for sure. But only Montero knows whether that was under the neck or not. No camera angle is going to be able to pick up that one. Here's one of my favorites, Mami Umeki of Japan. Always pretty impressive on the ground. And she almost pulled off one of the best turnovers you can see in judo. The rolling Sankaku turnover. As her opponent tried to defend against the Sankaku turnover, Umeki was able to roll but didn't stick the landing. She had to switch things up and go for a choke instead. She's already got the grip in place. It doesn't look like it's deep enough yet. She's going to need to apply some pressure on the back of her opponent's head to finish things off. And as her opponent is flattened out, Meki climbs over the top and applies pressure with her hips to the back of the head and gets the submission. Here's Keldia Rover again, finishing with Juji Gatame. Let's finish with the world champion Imba Lanier of Israel. Another question for all of you is, what video do you want next week? I was thinking to do something related to Imba Lanier, or I'll do one on the best submissions in men's judo since the last world championships. Let me know which one you'd like to see for next weekend. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more non-stop Nawaza.